Okay, so for those that are interested, I've I've uh, I've published my Arlecchino pulls from Genshin 4.6. It was pretty rough. Um, we lost the 50-50, but that's up there. If you want to watch it, you can watch it on times two speed. Uh, there was a lot more primos and fates spent than I wanted to. Wait, what is? Why is I? Why is there the notification button? Oh, Senadina. Oh, did she get a new... She got a new... She got buffed. Yeah. Yeah. Buff is good. Don't know if it's going to make her feel better to play or not, but buff is good. All right, so... Uh, what else? Our survey for 7.3 uh, is also up on YouTube. I mean, it doesn't really matter now because 7.4 is out, but it generally gives the uh, our overview of what went wrong with Part 2. All right, a couple of other things here. Um, let's take a look at the news first, right? News is generally there's like some new fancy stuff in the news. There's a Mac OS version now for, for players not just on iOS, but on a MacBook, on an iMac, or a Mac Pro, whatever, uh, whatever they got nowadays. If you log in from one of those devices, you get a cool little keychain. Uh, time Capsule. I'm really excited about Time Capsule. Hang on, I have to move my character because I'm really close to that freelance musician. That freelance musician just keeps playing music. So. Oh, whoops. What's in Time Capsule? That I'm excited about. These outfits are back. <clears throat> Prodigal Girl was, what, version 3.5? This was a time-limited event outfit from version 3.5 for White Comet. This one was like a login event early, early on for Lightning Empress. And this one was also a login event. MG used to be so mad because this was the one outfit that he was missing from his collection. All right. I've been saving all my standard outfit tickets for the Prodigal Girl rerun. 3,610 at this point. So, of course, I'm going to buy all three of these. The Jiggle costume. <laughs> Take a screenshot of this. All right. Yeah, in the uh, in the Starfall CG, she unzips her hoodie, and it that's the the jiggle. Um, this shop is left over for a limited time. Uh, for those that you know, you played the event last patch, which was a great event, but you were missing just a little bit. If you are needing to spend crystals for this outfit, that feels really bad. Um. I, at this point, I would probably wait for the outfit. If you missed it, I would probably wait for the outfit to get uh, show up in a time capsule and you just pay Asterite for it. All right. Um, but yeah, these three outfits, uh, I'm just go ahead and buy them. Oh, yeah. I'm take, take these screenshots too while I can. Before I forget... Man, this is this is good nostalgia right here. This one doesn't look that different from her base outfit. It's basically just a recolor, right? It's just a pal straight up palette swap, it's like a BP reward or something. <laughs> but I don't think it was it was originally Battle Pass. And then Desert Camo was from a login event. I remember because MG missed that login event and he never got a chance to get it again for like five years. Yep. 
All right. Um, is there anything else notable so far else in the shop? I don't think so. Um, everything else pretty much is the same. Yeah, so dorm shop reset. So buy your Taurus. Buy your dorm tickets. And then buy Asterite if you still need uh, the Coralie and uh, Helia weapon synergy items. All right. Or if you still need Coralie and Helia fragments, that as well. Um... Oh yeah, Elysian Realm Shop also reset. So if you still need A ranks, the A rank option box from Elysian Realm is available now. Uh, but it's all part one A ranks. So it it may be useful for like new players or like less sweaty players. If you're not worried about abyss performance to the min max, you can you know there's some A ranks here that are usable for progression but i wouldn't look to this as like a long-term solution because a lot of these are outdated characters great for collection though and uh yeah let's go take a look at the paid shop so the paid shop i was talking about earlier so Valkyrie Quicksand outfit is also rerun. This is also technically time capsule, but this is a paid outfit. And this is a very pay to win outfit that we used to joke about. Less relevant nowadays just because we're not getting as much quantum content, but she is a very powerful, farmable character. Uh, when you consider how low cost she is to farm. Now, building her with F2P options is still going to take some time. Uh, but we haven't gotten a new quantum solution yet, right? But this <laughs> this outfit specifically, why we, we joke about it being pay to win is during her ultimate dance, the bear paw lights up as soon as the the uh, the rhythm mini game can be activated. You know how like in Guitar Hero you can turn on like hyperspeed? And uh, it, it helps you get your timings down. Well, this one lets you know exactly when is the early moment you can press early to try to go a little bit faster. Is that going to affect 95% of the player population? No, nah, not really. But just something funny if she happens to be your favorite character. All right, so weekly equipment supply bundle. This is a pretty good value. Monthly equipment supply bundle. This one's pretty good value too because it gives you a lot more crystals than what the version uh, bundles usually give, right? So the version bundle, the monthly bundle is the same price as this one, but it gives you more crystals. But you can only buy it once a month. Uh, and then this one, banquet invitation. Uh, this one was pretty good too because it was, it was like two cards for 120. 120 B chips. I went ahead and bought this daily special one because I think this is left over from last patch. Uh, just because it was 60 B chips, so I get 60 crystals and then a, a chest for potentially 70 more. Uh, I only picked this up because anytime you're getting crystal value two to one against a B chip, that's generally like that's generally pretty good value. Got 100 crystals out of your box today. Congrats. That's 30 more than the baseline. So uh, when it comes to values of topping up, just a reminder, if you still have your first time bonuses, uh, you'll want to start there, right? You want to do your first time bonuses before you go to regular bundles. But if you use your first time bonus like last patch, trying to get some of those limited stuff, then next next on the list would be these uh, regular version bundles. So, you know, back when uh, a lot of the high spenders were still playing or, or you know, spending more in Nefer's case, what they would do is on, on the patch reset, they would, double, they would double top up 
and then even if they were done pulling for that patch, they would buy out all the bundles to prep for the next patch. Now, as a lot of the players are either retiring or cutting back their spending, this is this this is now, you know, we're doing this less and less. But if you've have already exhausted your double top-ups, these card bundles are generally where you want to look at next before you go back to raw crystal top-ups. So raw crystal top-ups with no double bonus is kind of like your last resort. One of the other things that uh, players used to do would be they would stack a bunch of monthly cards. So monthly cards you could stack up to six months. That's like 180 days, right? Yeah, 180 days. And that'll give you, you know, it's like five, 330 crystals each top up. But then like if you if you log in, it's a, it's it's even more. Every 15 days it's a uh, 500, so it's like if you log in what was the count? It's like it's like three thousand crystals total, right? If you if you play it all, so it's like thirty times sixty plus one thousand, right? For fifteen day logins plus three thirty, so it's like three three thousand one hundred thirty. Yeah. Yeah. You tried buying the monthly card multiple times and your bank thought it was fraud. Yeah, my credit card got denied today too. I had to use my Amazon uh my Amazon credit card. Weren't these two also like highly priced on standard outfit tickets? I remember when they introduced like the Violet Dreamscape and Lavender Glow. They were like high priced. But now that we, we got the ones that, that we were waiting for, I can now buy the rest of these, I think. I just been I just been waiting for that Prodigal Girl rerun. Oh no, I don't have enough for Ocean Range. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, another month of logins. To get my outfit coupons. Yeah, Lilo, and it's it's not it wasn't just Prodigal Girl Lilo, it was the other two that I requested. Am I gonna buy Frozen Sagra? At some point I will. It's going to be like the beach house. I'm going to say that I'm going to buy it later on. And then it's like way later on that I'll buy Frozen Sakura. Okay, so that pretty much covers uh, the time capsule and the bundles for this patch. Um, make sure you go through all your events. You know, I, I know for the rest of us, we're kind of like not really vibing with uh, part two. But there is still a lot of freebies uh, that reward crystals for basically just playing the game all right uh and then of course the free copy of hersher of origin uh for any acheron raiden may fans uh and stands this will be great this card for everybody who did already have s0 will be able to upgrade to s2 because now every card duplicate will give you 50 fragments uh, this shop, I think, is still here, right? It goes all the way till 7.5, it seems. And then, of course, if you do the battle pass and stuff, you'll uh, 
well it says earn earn 7000 bp for the weekly um the next battle pass will start on monday but you can still earn points for this current one you can get your prism and this uh repeats to five times so that's cool that's cool if you have a friend that has an imac or a macbook uh maybe you can ask them to log in for you Oh yeah, if you click this, it'll take you to the link. Uh, so that's an easy 10,000. But if you, if you log in from the from the Mac from the Mac device, you'll you'll get this keychain. Oh boy, uh, the tutorial for Thalema also has crystals and home proofs of legend. Wait, what else is in time capsule? Oh, there's a bunch of uh. There's a bunch of stigmata available. So I'm guessing this the Raven set is available for Asterite. It's a little bit expensive for Asterite, but if you're a new player, if you're a brand new player, it is not terrible as a starting out elemental damage set. Uh, everything else is like collectibles. Oh, this is a great outfit. But she's also not meta anymore. Uh, Magical Girl, though. This one is actually kind of sick for um, back in the day when we needed the extra cross total damage. Back in old Rhyme Star, we used to use this one with uh, Ranger's Cross to get the Ignite damage to break the shield. You can't really do that nowadays. But there were some really, really cool... Um, yeah, look at look at how pretty this is. Imagine if Hersher of fin Finality had a full dress instead of the the half skirt. Oh, would have been really neat. This one was uh, also a really popular one. So again, if you're a if you're a Ride in May fan, a bunch of these uh, a bunch of these are available. Some really good artwork too. Uh, all right, Team Bear, go! If you play the demo stage for this, you can earn some coins. And of course the pry arm weapon the weapon demo for pry arm. All right, let's take a look at the banners. We'll take a short break after we look at these and uh before we do our polls or yeah, before we do our polls. So focus supply <laughs> good old focus supply. Kira Star Kira Star gear for Star Dance. Cecilia Stigmata. Is this still good? It's still being used. Uh, still less than a year old? Right around a year old. I think this is right around a year old, right? Because Kira was released, uh... She was released right before Dreamweaver? Was that the timeline? Was she in August? Okay, never mind. She was after. So yeah, still under a year old. Still under a year old. Stardance best option for kira uh everything else is old everything else all the other weapons are basically like collectibles uh prophetic dreams is useful for um dream weaver yeah that's kind of current within a year so from the off rates bastet would be an option bastet tm could be used as a placeholder alternative for kira uh, Zeno's pretty old now for Aponia. 
Su Song's gear could be useful because we're still using her in all the ice teams. And then Aladdin. Aladdin is still kind of busted for bleed teams. Um, pretty much the downside of rolling on this banner is if you're a new player, you should probably just disregard this banner and just roll for the new stuff. Um, there's a lot of nuance with all this old gear, but the biggest issue is that this is all old gear. Uh, it was great. All the pieces were useful at one point in time in the history of this game. But you know, as we get further along in this game, these these sets become less and less relevant. You know, like Turgenev top and bottom is now craftable in Foundry. And that can be your elemental catch-all for a lot of different elemental support characters. So you want to avoid pulling backwards trying to catch up. What you want to do is pull for new stuff and letting the meta eventually obsolete the old stuff. Which means the Lima is a pull. Recommendation, you should pull. Alright, you should pull. If you can guarantee that weapon. The way that I've heard is that if you can't guarantee the weapon... Maybe you could skip. I heard a lot of people have been getting really lucky this patch, though. 50% off the first 10 pull on the Thelema banner was too good to resist. Discount! 50% off! This is amazing. So you can see here, we did one 10 pull at the end of last banner. So I'm 80 out of 90 already. You can see here, the, the, the pity carried forward. We were seven pulls uh, on that last one, right? We, we did one ten pull, and it came on three. So that's kind of cool that equipment supply actually is carrying p pity forward. That's neat. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, and then there's no bonuses in for dorm, so I advise against buying the dorm supply cards. Just let this naturally accrue from your dorm shop from you know your armada shop uh armada shop resets every month dorm shop you have three tickets that you can buy every version so i would just let this you know stockpile up until a major spending event and then you just unleash the car unleash 20 pulls at a time hi nanoha welcome 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 they are so good at the fomo yes reject meta just pull new stuff all right, we're gonna take a take a quick break before we actually start our polls, but that about covers version seven point four. It is an S rank release, but all in all, it's gonna feel like a rest patch. Um, and I'm very curious to see if they're gonna go back to the S rank A rank cadence, or if they're just gonna try to like Genshin Star Rail it and just every patch is a new S rank, which I hope it's they they're not. But I know Lantern's next patch, so. We're in trouble. All right, take a break. Have a break. Take a break. Plus Ultra. All right. Oh, yeah. What are the A ranks? Still old, old A rank characters that are not relevant for anything except for maybe Elysian Realm, right? Valkyrie Blade Strike is in Elysian Realm if you get the augment for Striker Fulminata. Everything else is just useless. Sundin Jaeger doesn't even exist in... Uh, you can't even play her in, in Elysian Realm. Valkyrie Pledge, we used to use her a lot as like a time fracture support when you were like a new player. This is like a budget time fracture support back in like 2020, 2021. I used her a lot when I didn't have any roster. I was like, oh yeah, you could use her. It's... You know, just get, get dodges. Just use her to dodge. And you could slow down the score clock and uh, get more points that way. Yamabuki armor. Uh, with the drive Kometa augment. We used her quite a bit for uh, time fractures and physical support as well. Also outdated, unfortunately. Has it always been called a Mayo Ritual? It's uh, it's been called both both ways, like Ritual Amayo and Amayo Ritual. 
But this one was Sundin Jaeger. Sundin Jaeger is different. It was Ritual and Mayo for the original global release. And I think they maybe fix it to a Mayo Ritual afterwards. But it used to be Ritual and Mayo. On the global release. Yeah, they also, yeah, one, at, at some point recently, they also changed, like, Super Sonata, um, because it, it, the, the weapon, right, that cross used to be called Super Sonata, and now it's called something else, it's like, Sonata something something. So pretty much, for new players, all the A-ranks that you get, you're mostly going to be using them for your dorm expeditions. For older players, you're just going to be farming these Stardust Shards for the shop. Are you gonna farm them for this shop? Maybe, maybe you need a source prism or two uh, to upgrade your stuff. Maybe, maybe you're trying to get that sweet, sweet uh, twenty-three, twenty-three for your favorite character. I think this shop resets every two patches for the for the permanent stuff. And then there's like the the three items that reset every version. But yeah, getting a 23-23 box is pretty good. I might try to get some Equinox rank up stamps. Just so that I can get uh get her to like SS1 or double S sooner instead of waiting for battle pass. Oh yeah, all the all the pool party stigmata were changed to beach party. But I think that change actually went live much sooner. Fifteen, fifteen elemental damage rerolls. The one that I need for Luna. I know. Okay, so we back from break. Um... Let's get started. Let's get started with the gotcha. I have to get my notepad out. Um, all right, 7.4. New text document. Relema pulls and years. Actually, I should I should do the text documents on a separate computer in the future so it doesn't cut the music out all the time okay i know that i'll do that uh and then i'll copy paste it back Ten out of ninety pulls. Uh, start counter. Okay. First, first ten pull is fifty percent off using five tickets. All right, let's get started. First ten pulls, five tickets. Oh, Devil Master's here. Are you kidding me? Nefer, they must have changed something. And I think you just got you just got left out of the, the patch notes. So they owe you some crystals. All right, all right, let's go for two and one multi. <laughs> two and one multi. <laughs> all right. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god. 
All right, three in one multi. <laughs> Let's go, three in one multi. <laughs> Yeah, S2 and one multi. Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay. I have to post this in content creator too. Be like, okay, thank you, I Chan. Oh my god. Fifty pulls for S three on the weapon. That is also sick. You know what? I need to post that in Hoyo Creators. I need to post it in all the non Honkai third main, uh, main main ones. <sighs> yeah, it, it it's actually not too bad to get uh some dupes on the gear banner, right? Because you want to have stigmata that you can shard for cubes. <laughs> yeah, first 5 tickets for the 10 pull. Um I got two cards. <laughs> yeah it was uh, uh my count was four and six it was it was four and six it was pull four and pull six so that's pretty good All right, let's take this screenshot to hold on, hold on. All right. Save this. That's crazy. S2 on the drop. Now I can save for lantern. <laughs> two two more. You guys want me to do one more ten pull to build pity for Lantern? Nah, weapon first. Okay, so hi Diva, sixteen pulls away of hard pity. I'm expecting you won't hit absolute hard pity, but you'll be like, uh, between eighty and ninety. Firm pity, firm pity. All right. Stay, I've already won. Don't be greedy. I need them cubes. Save that luck for S2 Lantern. True. True. <sighs> True. Feels good, guys. Yeah, I, I I know that, you know, historically we've gotten, like, insane luck on certain banners, but we've also seen, like, the low lows, right? Like, last patch, we were hitting firm pity on almost everything. You have, like, four points. True. I do also like Lantern's design a little bit more. 
Okay. <laughs> Gear pulls now. Oh, man. Gear pulls. 16 tickets. 2, 6, 7, 4, 7, 5 crystals. Um, two tickets. First 10 pull weapons. Uh, oh yeah, we, we start the counter uh, 7 out of 60. Because we had we had um achievement unlocked. Woohoo! We had a uh, electrifying arc which was Helia's weapon was uh 53 out of uh 60 last time. So we start off 7 out of 60. It's kind of cool that it's carrying forward now. I wish this was also 50% off. All right, let's go. 10 tickets. Two, three, Pog, Song Chue on three. Four. <laughs> That's a cube right there. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Come on, give me one more. Give me one more stigmata. Give me a B piece. Give me an M piece. Nope. <laughs> Ether fuel. Oh, 25. I wonder if they, if they just got insanely negative feedback last time because <laughs> they, they definitely changed something this time. I don't remember getting multi stigmatas last time, did we? You don't feel well. You did. Oh, hey, hey, you got S three and fifty. You you must have felt something there, right? <laughs> Wait, Devil Master, Devil Master, how bad were your pulls? How how rough was it? And did you did you go for double S or triple S? Eighty three ninety. For S0? Or was that for S2? 90! Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Oh. That's expensive, S2. Yeah, I'm gonna do singles. Singles will get me to the next uh, guarantee. Wow, the toast on two. Yeah, these are pretty good rates so far. For me. For me. <laughs> now I feel like a jerk because earlier this morning, uh, Jewel Psych was like, oh, I got him in the first, uh, first temple. I'm like, okay, shut up. I don't want to hear it because I was so salty about my Arlequino pulls. Um... I have to keep pulling singles, right? So that I can use up my tickets. Or do you guys think I should just do the multi right now? Yeah, I was I was not looking forward to doing these pulls at all. Ten pull for Luxac dupe weapon. Multi because I need the cubes. Also true. Okay. Singles, two ticks. I just need to edit my notepad. Alright, 10x. One, two, three, four. Ho <laughs> ho ho.
another prism. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This patch best thing is the weapon upgrade one click from 1 to 50. Oh yeah. All right, singles, four singles. Taurus. I like being able to actually just get Taurus from from this gear banner. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, full set. Now we have to go for the weapon. Okay, Thelema M. On four. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot to take the screenshot. Take the screenshot. It's cool. Take that screenshot. It's cool. Okay. Uh, 33 out of 60. For three out of four. Um,. They really need a skip button? Yeah, it's it's too bad that co-op doesn't exist anymore. Singles all the way. Limit the crystal damage. Alright, after the next multi. I'm gonna do one more 10 pull. I think the problem now is like I've gotcha it enough where I don't have the patience to do singles all the time. But I know that we we do need to do singles at some point. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's it gonna be? Another song tree. Song tree tea time. Okay. How many how many prisms do I need? Twenty one total. Aya T in it. <laughs> all right, singles all the way. Wow, okay. Okay. Now I can take the screenshot. <laughs> Ether fuel. Hog. Weapon, weapon get, and that was 14 remaining, right? So 14, it would have been uh, 47 out of 60.
There's 14 remaining, so that would have been that the 14th pull, right? Guaranteed in 14, uh, 60 minus 13 is 47. Forty seventh effective pull because we started at uh we started at seven today, we started from fifty three. Forty seven effective pull, today's pulls forty, so forty pulls today. <laughs> Chat, what you just witnessed is that this game doesn't want this player to actually slack. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Banquet Rose, Banquet Rose. So we pretty much have a pretty good uh, saving patch for the rest of this patch. Oh, you know what? I can get the outfit without needing to top up next week. Yeah, 10k crystal saved. I can uh, I can get the outfit next week and then we'll just keep saving for, for Lantern. <laughs> yeah, so for those that are wondering, yes, we will get Fu Hua, Feng Huang of Vicissitudes, Black and white crane outfit next week. The hard pity for that one is 9,600 crystals. 9,600 crystals. First pull is free, and it gets progressively uh, exponentially more expensive after that first pull. If you get super lucky, you can get it on the fifth pull. We've had that happen only once. Um, but more than likely, you're going to go to 9 or 10 pulls. That's just the reality of it. We've had it once where we got it one pull early and we missed the option box for the S rank. <laughs> that happened to us once before too. Oh, maybe that was the time we got it on the fifth pull. Anyways, thanks everybody for sticking around for the gotcha. Um, we'll take a look and try to get through some of these tutorial stages here. And gotcha.